Hello! If you don't want to work uh, on one of your old projects, uh, like this Mercedes, for example, I have one tip for you. Just start a new project, yes. It uh, have to be not a uh, very hardcoreable kit uh, that you can easily assemble and paint. Uh, like this one, Panzerkampfwagen 8 und 3, uh, Czechoslovakian, uh, from Italy. Actually, is an old kit. And yes, today we have two topics uh, the starting of new project, and also we talk about interiors in scale models and trying to do some interesting stuff. So yes, uh, old Italian kit uh, that was upgraded by Italeri with uh, some useful things uh, to make old model more attractive uh, for modellers. On the side of this box you can uh, see what uh, this model includes. As you see, not many details uh, we have here, so it have to be not very hard work with the model. Two packages with the details from grey plastic. Uh, it's not a review, just a quick unboxing and uh, uh, starting uh, the work. What important here? Semi-separated track links. Uh, what about inbox upgrades for this tank? Metallic barrel of our 37mm main gun. Decals for, for painting variants. And again, metallic parts, a small plate of photo etch details grills and uh, brackets for jerry cans. Not so many metallic details, but uh, it's better than nothing. Ok, that's all. Instruction looks like a big newspaper. The Times. I want to start this build from the very beginning, according to instruction. It will be a simple inbox build. Uh, by the way, uh, one more benefit of this old kit, uh, some details of interior we have here, so we can uh, open uh, hatches in this model. Our starting point, the hull of the tank, divided from uh, sprue. Next, remove extra plastic with knife, uh, have to be careful with it. Also, sandpaper is our good friend. Okay. On the rear part there are also some small defects, remove them carefully. Ok, now I can apply first uh, details on my model, reductors. Next we have uh, balancers and springs, uh, they can be regulated a little bit. So that means before uh, you glue them, check if they are placed in a correct uh, position, I mean in one line. Uh, so, for this uh, purpose I uh, cut out main rollers and uh, check uh, the position of our suspension system. It seems ok, so now I can uh, glue balancers and springs, small corrections, ok. But after that put all 8 rollers and put model on a table. All 8 wheels uh, must touch the surface of your table, ok. Unfortunately, I can't glue rollers on this stage because of painting, so they wait a little bit. But instead that I can glue interior section. First of all, uh, this wall or correctly bulkhead between engine and combat sections of our light tank. But, 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 but we have to check if everything uh, will be ok with the uh, uh, upper engine uh, armor plate. Here it is. Let's try to put it here and it seems uh, fits good. Ok. Let's glue our bulkhead. Nice. And additionally part for it. Except uh, this great wall I glued uh, platforms here and here. And now time for seats. Uh, for driver and machine gunner who is also response for radio station. Also add pedals, uh, they are represented uh, with a single detail. Upper part of our seats I can't glue now, because it would be problems with its painting. Uh, so I put uh, them somewhere to the, our rollers. One of the last pieces of our interior is a transmission set. It consists only from five plastic details. Now our interior almost completed, except uh, front machine gun. Ok, let's go outside the tank, uh, big upper engine plate uh, was glued. The level of connection and detailization I mean for the exterior is an 
on a good level as for such an old kit. Yes, it's not a Tamiya, but uh, okay. Rear plate, two holes were drilled here for additional details. It's done, so while we're here, let's uh, continue our work with the back end section of our kit. Small details for towing. These details were cleared with knife from extra plastic before gluing. What interesting here is such a box and there is no detail for the rear side of it. So I decided to craft it from a small piece of cardboard. Now using super glue I will fix it. Uh, if it's good, very good and uh, when it's done put it on a rear armor plate. Completed. Such an uh, easy upgrade allows us to hide an empty space inside that box. It wasn't critical, but in some angles of our view we can saw that misunderstanding, so we fix it. And now time for uh, photo etching metallic in box parts. Let's take this grill. Is that what we needed now? Cut out this detail using knife. Unfortunately, this photo etched parts is uh, thick, so it can be small problems with uh, bending of it. I have not special instruments for bending of photo etched parts, so I use small pliers for uh, this. Fix our grill in it and then using another instrument, for example uh, another pliers, so this one with a round nose, and trying to uh, carefully bend our detail in three dimensions, step by step. When ready, apply it with a super glue gel on our model. After that I put uh, the exhausting pipe. It's not bad uh, stock detail, even the hole is uh, totally stock, no drilling was there. Some advance in front part. There was additional armor plate with rivets, uh, hooks and spare truck links, which is optional here. And the last one thing before next movement, uh, an interior painting, machine gun. We have a front armor plate. I want to paint uh, it in white color from the back side, so it will be a good uh, decision to put it here front machine gun. It's movable, but before that uh, I drill a barrel uh, to make this MG more realistic. Small drills uh, help me. Smaller diameter for the first time, then bigger, and the biggest one to the final result. So yes, you need many different small drills. Ok, and few words about our today's second topic, painting of interiors. Yes, I know that interior in this kit is far away from that thing that we call uh, full interior models, but why not? Uh, for training, for example. First step, uh, degreasing of our details. I just add uh, fine white spirit uh, to my airbrush, this one from Ticorilla and cover all the surfaces that I want to paint now. Step number two, primary layer using modeling primer. It prepares surface for base coats of paint. There was some problems with my compressor, with my airbrush and even with the paints. This step may be not very representative, but ok, moving next. And finally, step number 3, base color, it will be white, applying it on interior parts of our tank, where it have to be, and also on some other details, like uh, transmission. After each step I put model somewhere to dry up. Uh, by the way, here is the primer and uh, here is the white acrylic paint from ICM that I used on previous steps. Ok, what we have next? Uh, next uh, step is a covering uh, of the rear part of our hull in uh, something like Panzer Grau or grey color. According to instruction, I also check some photos, uh, real photos of this tank and it seems uh, it can be in grey color, I mean the rear part. Something like that. I take straight brush, not the optimal solution, but my rounded brush flies away and I don't know uh, where. So try to cover the rear surfaces with a thin layer of paint. You may thin it with a thinner or water if you use uh, acrylic water-based colors. 
Here we have hard corners, not a problem, uh, return to them a little bit later. Yes, we can uh, use painting masks and airbrush to achieve better result, but making of masks uh, take uh, time, and while most of these interior parts won't be visible in the end, so there is no sense for extra carefulness and accuracy. Deploy 000 brush and solve our uh, problems in the corners. Ok, while it's drying up, we can paint uh, in black color some smaller details. After then we can paint soft parts inside the tank, like this safety soft panel, seats in uh, some other and some other details. I use for this purpose tire black or rubber black color to imitate such details. Another part of the seats that separated from the seating parts was painted too. Ok, we see that this surfaces is not ok, uh, they are a little bit transparent, so I prepare one more uh, thin layer of grey paint and to repeat the procedure. Why not? So it seems I finish here with the main process of painting of our uh, small interior. Also paint and transmission, uh, using gun metal color to paint some details. Yeah, also decided to repaint seats in brown color to imitate uh, brown leather. Previous seats was too dark and on the whole dark grey background that wasn't good. Weathering, uh, you can use all weathering techniques uh, for interior like for exterior. I decided uh, to use here just a dry brush technique and add some chipping with it using for that uh, metallic colors. Also add dry brush effects on seats and on the sides of these tanks to make them more interesting. And cover all of this stuff with a gloss coat. It allows me to make almost final step uh, with interior washing. Dark brown wash also good for interiors. Also who wants can add some dust. For washing I take, uh, as usual, this bottle with dark brown wash. All we have to do is to apply carefully our wash on each corner, gap, rivet and other details that have their own relief. Yeah, I know, I need to go to shop and uh, buy a normal brush. In the end we remove uh, the excess of wash using ear sticks and, and protect all our previous uh, work and remove uh, glossiness of this model with a fine layer of matte coat using uh, Vallejo products. Ok, what we've got today? On the one hand, uh, yes, there is empty spaces on the inner sides of this tank, many details are absent in this kit for interior and in general low level of uh, detailization of our interior. But, on the other hand, uh, we upgrade our skills in a work with interiors. We can also open all hatches in the models. <laughs> yes, there is only two of them. And later, if we liked uh, such uh, works with interiors, we can try ourselves uh, with uh, full interior models. For example, like this one, DDR or GDR T72 from Amusing Hobby with a full hardcoreable interior of all. Anyway, that was fun today. Continue next week uh, the work on this model with the building of turret, uh, building of uh, truck links, uh, and uh, other details that left in this kit. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoy, have a nice day, good luck and bye!